Hey guys and welcome to the brand new episode on Google Cloud. In the previous video, we have seen how to create a service account. In this video, we are going to assign a role to the service account. If you remember in the last video, we created a service account called as GCP demo service account. I will just go to the I am link, which is located in the top left corner. Just click that. This will bring us a new screen wherein it will list down the existing members who have been assigned a role. Let's just create a new entry. So I will click the add button. This will bring up a pop up wherein we can search for our service account. So I'll type the name as GCP demo service. So you don't have to type the entire name. Just type the few initial characters and it will bring a suggestion. I'll just select that. The next option is about selecting a role. So just click this particular drop down and this will list down the various roles based upon uh, the various services which are available. So you can see that there is a big query, there is auto ML, there is billing, there is cloud big table. In our case, we are going to initially work on the Google cloud storage. So I need to search for the storage role. So I'll just type storage. This will bring down certain suggestions. Now you'll see that there is a role called as storage admin, storage HMAC key admin, there is storage object admin, storage object creator. So there are various roles which are available. And I understand that you might have a confusion that which role we are supposed to select. Simply visit the Google Cloud documentation wherein you will see that there is a list of standard roles and what is the purpose of each of these roles. So you will see that there are certain permissions which are assigned to these roles. It is always recommended that you should give a very least permission based role to your service account or to whatever you know the member that you're going to add. The reason is that if you assign the higher privileges or higher permission, it might have a side effects or it might have security lapses in your implementation. In our case, since we're just going to access the files and create the new objects, it is sufficient to assign the role as storage object creator or storage object viewer. We are not going to assign the admin role. So let's just select those roles out here. So we have storage object creator and we need to add another role so that we get the view permissions as well. So I will search for again storage and then I will select the option as storage object viewer. You will see that you cannot select the multiple roles in one single click. You are supposed to add the new role each time you want to add the additional roles. So this is one of the option or you can create a custom or a composite role wherein you can add all the roles to a composite role and then you can select that role out here. So you don't have to select the multiple roles. I will show you the steps, but let's keep those steps for the new video or the next video. Now I'll click the save button. This will assign a role to our service account. You can see that the new entry has been added and it is available within the screen. Remember that you can make the modification to these roles at any point of time and it will be reflected immediately. You don't have to again download the JSON file or you don't have to recreate your service account. And there are no changes required even to your application logic. Everything is applied instantaneously. So that's all for assigning the roles or permissions to the service account. In the next video, we'll explore how to use the service account in a Java project. Till then, take care and build something.